Traders, how are you with Marcello? Today we're doing the recap of what happened in the markets last week, the stock market, economy, the, the wars breaking out everywhere. This week we have a very p interesting piece of news that health companies now are not going to cover things under a war that's starting, which I thought was really interesting. Tesla is starting to warn that their growth isn't going to be as great and much, much more news. Let's go ahead and get started. We had pretty good economic news this week, both on the inflation front in some countries, in addition to actual growth in the economies and, and big economies like the U.S. And, and South Korea, for example. One interesting thing that I found this week was that on its own, California is the fifth largest economy in the world, soon to be fourth. Remember that Germany right now is fourth. Uh, New York on its own, I believe, is 13th. Texas on its own is 11th and Florida on its own, I believe is 16th. I thought, I just thought that was really interesting. I found that doing some research. I wanted to share that with you. The biggest news for me, and I'm going to get into the stocks in just a moment. There was a uh, Cigna and I believe another health insurance company and their terms and conditions, their policies. There were people that actually saved the, you know, they actually read them because you know, who reads their policies, right? They want to, they, they probably do it on purpose. They give us these 300 page books with small letters are like here. Oh yeah, just accept no big deal. Like when we sign our life away online, right? But the new 2024 health plans, the insurance plans update new exclusions and expenses not covered. And I'm going to read this because this is part of one of the quotes that somebody shared on X or Twitter. Treatment of an injury or a sickness which is due to war, declared or undeclared, riot or insurrection now are not covered. So if you get sick because of a war or let's say an insurrection or a riot, there, your insurance doesn't cover you anymore. So, you know, because you guys remember the preppers are right. So what? Da, 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 da. So my question is, I, I really believe that they're doing this on purpose because they know what's coming. So if there was any year that something is going to start, remember that the World Economic Forum talked about disease X, right? The pandemics, it's going to come. I would maybe prepare a little bit, right? You guys know I'm I'm crazy, I'm a conspiracy theorist, but I think if it was if it was if it were if there were any year that it was going to happen, it's gonna be this year because of the presidential elections. So you better better get your stuff in order. Buy some of that food that lasts 30 years in case the electric goes out. Stock markets for the week, mostly positive, all of them in the North America, the US and Toronto. The Great economic news that's coming out, which means that they're less likely to look to either raise the interest rates or, or bring them down. Remember that bringing down the interest rates is actually a good thing due to the fact that everybody, you know, our, our economy is over financialized, which means that before, if it was really expensive to buy a home, after they dropped the interest rates in 2008 and 2009, now people could buy two or three or four or five homes, right? Then the bubbles created, then everything goes up. Eventually there's a crash. The mother of all bubbles ca crashes hasn't arrived just yet. But that's why interest rates are so important right now due to the fact that everybody's just, you know, in debt and everybody takes out debt and loans to be able to buy things because that's the only way to afford things anymore. Another thing that was really interesting this week was a single private jet flight from Bill Gates emits a single, just one, emits more carbon than your car does in a lifetime. So you have to eat bugs. You have to stay 15 minutes from your house. You can't travel anywhere. But he can travel on his jet, you know, what is it, 50 times a year, 100 times a year, right? So that, that's how that's how uh, important the climate change is. I'm not saying that we shouldn't protect the environment, but maybe they shouldn't fly on private jets if it was that that dangerous, the change in the climate. Okay. Pepper for right. The overseas market news, the European markets are mostly higher as well. Latin America, all higher across the board. The Bovespa, which is the biggest economy and stock market in Latin America, went up over 1%. Africa and the Middle East, uh, one of the things I thought I'm going to share real quick is I have a buddy of mine right now in Argentina, and he says that the inflation is so bad that you walk into one store and you go to buy something and then you go to the other store and it's already a higher price. 
Can you imagine if that was happening in the U.S.? You literally go to, you know, Publix or Whole Foods or wherever you're going to go to to get some eggs or meat or something. You're like, oh, I got to go home real quick, whatever. And then you go to the second store and the prices have already changed and gone up. I think that eventually is going to happen in the U.S. I don't know how fast that's going to happen, but I think it is going to happen. Africa and the Middle East, mostly higher. And then in the far, far east, Asia, Australia, that area, those markets were actually mixed. More negative than positive there. Bitcoin and crypto news, mostly stagnant on that front. Not a whole lot of crypto news either. After the ETF was approved for Bitcoin, wasn't really a lot of hoopla. You know, the 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 Bitcoin didn't explode or anything. Excuse me. But Bitcoin for the week is up 0.39%. Saturday morning, it reached 41818 And in commodities, oil rallied to its highest price in the last two months, thanks to the geopolitical risk that's happening with the Red Sea, the Houthi uh, terrorists, rebels, whatever you want to call them. They keep firing those missiles and the drones uh, to the tankers, which means that they're going to be more logistics problems and getting things around the world, especially oil. So that's why oil went up. In the U.S., oil, the, the WTI went up 6.26% to 78.01. Oil is obviously really important because everything in the United States is transported with trucks, right? The, the big semis. So if oil goes up, that means gas prices goes up, which means it's more expensive to ship stuff to you and I. Brent, which is the international crude, went up 6.35% to 83.55. And lithium futures prices plummeted as demand for electric vehicles slows down in china lithium is the material if you didn't know that goes into the batteries for electric cars and even you know batteries for cell phones and everything else it's fallen by more than 80 percent since december 1 2022 from a high of 85,000 to now just over 14,600. Gold is also at a recent low on Friday. Gold went down 0.51% for the week, 2019 and 80 cents, while silver, my favorite market as you guys know, went up 0.83% to 2288. The the expectation of what's going to happen with the economy, since we have really good economic numbers and maybe they're not going to drop the rates as fast, that hinders people from investing in, you know, uh, things that are safe, safe haven investments like gold and silver. And that's why we've seen a little bit of a, the new recent lows, especially in gold. Financial news and banking news. China is cutting the amount of the liquidity banks are required to hold in order to get the economy moving starting next month. If you guys don't know how uh, fractional reserve banking works, basically, if I go and deposit, let's say $100,000 in the bank, there is only a certain amount of money that the bank has to keep in order to continue to function. And that's based on you know federal regulations. So in the US, I believe now is at zero. You know, a few years ago, maybe five, six years ago, I haven't looked into the exact numbers right now. It was at 10%. So let's just say it's 10%. So if I go and deposit or I have $100,000 in the bank, they only have to keep $10,000 of it. But they, they loan the rest and then be able to make money off the interest, right? And invest in those amazing toxic loans that they did in 2008, 2009. So even if you were to go to the bank and try to get your money out, they can't give it to you because they don't have it. You have to call ahead of time to be able to try to get your money. So that's why that moves the economy so much because if the banks don't have to have as much money, imagine it goes from 50% to 20%. Imagine the millions of customers, you know, there's a billion people in China. One bank might have 200 million customers, for example, right? Literally the size, almost the size of the US. Um, that would literally free up billions and billions and billions of dollars to be able to move the economy. They're not doing so well, China. Turkey Central Bank increased their interest rates another 250 basis points by to 45%. Their inflation right now is 64.8% year over year. That's the number the government is reporting. So imagine what the actual number is. Remember when the government was telling us that the inflation in the U.S. was only maybe 3, 4, 5, 8% while your food went up by double, while your rents went up 30, 40, 50%, used car prices, right? So don't trust what the government says. Political news, Trudeau, the president, the dictator president of the Communist Republic of Canada, 
uh, the court ruled that his Aurelian attack on Canadian truckers is unconstitutional. Notice that he's not going to jail or getting fined or anything. DeSantis, which is what was part of the presidential campaign for the Republicans, had decided to drop out and endorse uh, Donald Trump. Nikki Haley, the Trojan horse, she's going to continue to be in the race. And U.S. is now reviewing sanctions on Venezuela after there was an agreement in place that they were going to allow to release some of the sanctions if they allowed for safe and correct elections. Well, the Supreme Court just decided that the opposition can't go into power. They, they can't run anymore. So they're going to review the sanctions. That's what you get, Daddy Biden, for negotiating with dictators. Economic news, the manufacturing activity in the United States hits its highest level in the last 15 months in January. The service sector outperformed as well. These are the good economic numbers that I was telling you about just a moment ago. Pending U.S. home sales unexpectedly rose in December as well as mortgage rates continuing to come down. I believe they're at 6.8 or 6.7 right now. And South Korea's economy grew faster than expected and is on pace in quarter four of 2023. The GDP grew 2.2%. South Korea, not a not a huge economy. I think on their own, they're 11th or 13th, one of those two. But they're the fifth or sixth largest exporter in the world. This was due to the shipment of the semiconductors. And the U.S. Commerce, Commerce Department said that the U.S. economy grew much more rapid pace than expected. Inflation eased in quarter 2023 in the final quarter. And the GDP grew at an annualized rate of 3.3%. So if the economy is doing better than what they expected and all these numbers are doing really well, that means that they're a lot less likely to drop rates which means that the economy probably isn't going to do as well, even though they'll most likely drop the rates because we got a presidential election to win, guys. Corporate news, the corporation LVMH exceeded forecast by increasing growth organically by 13%. This is the company that has Louis Vuitton, Moet, Givenchy, Sephora, all these brands. The, the founder, the guy who runs it, is the fourth or third or fifth large, you know, richest man in the world. Spirit Airlines is going to appeal the judgment against their $3.8 $3 billion merger with JetBlue, even though JetBlue says that they might call the merger off. And Rumble, if you guys don't know what it is, YouTube's competitor, their shares skyrocketed almost 33% after they made an agreement with Barstool Sports. If you guys don't know what Barstool is, it's like an online media company. Dave Portnoy runs it. It's super popular. They have a really popular podcast, but it's going to probably bring a lot of eyes and attention to Rumble. Berkshire Hathaway, which is Warren Buffett's company, reached an all-time high on Wednesday to a record of the Class A shares of 572000 and change. Tesla says that they're going to run or build their new generation cars in a new Mexico plant. And they're also said that the state government has already given them all the permits they needed to be able to build the new Gigafactory site. And Tesla shares fell over 12% after they warned of slower growth in 2024. Elon Musk also gave a head nod to the, the EV companies in China, said they're the most, com most competitive companies in the world. And he, Pepsi also tested the new Tesla semis, which surpassed over a thousand miles driven in a single day. And American Airlines, their shares went up over 10% after they reported uh, that they're going to have strong 2024 profits due to strong demand for international travel. And what I think is happening is a lot of these companies, they excuse, they raise their prices and, and they blame inflation. And then, you know, what I've seen, for example, flying back and forth from Colombia is that they decrease the number of flights and then they raise the prices. So instead of costing maybe two, three hundred dollars before, now it costs five, six hundred dollars round trip. So, you know. And technology, Neuralink, which is the company that is doing brain implants run by or founded, I should say, by Elon Musk, is getting fined by the Department of Transportation due to the movement of hazarded materials. You know, more kind of investigations and fines and things against Elon Musk. DOT investigators found that they failed to register itself as a transporter of hazardous materials, and they also found improper packaging for hazardous waste. That's the news for this week, guys. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, the preppers were right.